Hi everyone, in this lecture we're going to add data to our table. Alright, so we have our code from our previous lecture and we know that if we run this code again, this is just going to connect to our already created database. And this is not going to create another table because the table exists, so this code is not going to run. Now, the way that we can add data to this database is we are going to use the cursor object again. So we say cursor.execute. We know why execute. And then, um, so we have a title. So I'm going to pass in uh, before going forward. So we are going to say, where is our SQL command? You need to provide your SQL command. I'm going to say insert into, which we are familiar with movies insert into movies values so this is the first approach if you remember correctly and we are going to say avatar so it is avatar and then the second one is going to be the director which is james uh cameron and the third one is going to be 2009, the year. So I'm going to, because I've specified it integer, I'm not going to provide it inside quotes. And uh, we are done here. So whenever you run this query once, make sure you comment out this, uh, insert into tables, uh, inserting these values, because then you're going to end up with duplicates. So keep that in mind. Now I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to say adding, uh, records let's just say records and then I'm gonna say uh, fetching is it touching so fetching records perfect how can we fetch our records so we are going to say cursor now we have uh, added the records when when we run this program how do we how can you fetch it like let's say you don't have MySQL and you cannot look at there, you just want to look at your data in your Python file. So how can you do that? We are basically going to run another uh, Python query, and we are going to say select all columns from the movies uh, table. Very simple, right? Basically SQL commands. And then we are going to print it to the screen. So we are going to say fetching, um, or like, I'm just going to write it. So I'm going to say print cursor dot fetch one this is going to fetch only one row from the result set so let's save that everything looks perfect so i'm going to run this i'm going to say python uh, two dot adding underscore data dot pi let's run that and there we go so you can see that we added avatar james cameron 2009 to the database and then we fetched it from the database and we showed it right here now we could add we could move forward and we could add more items here as well so i'm just going to remove that i'm going to comment out these two lines and i'm going to comment out these two lines as well there we go so what if you want to add more than one entry at, at the same time how can you do that so i'm going to say hi earning high earning movies and i'm going to comment this one i'm going to say adding more records perfect so basically what i what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a list of tuples in here so each uh, record is going to be represented by a tuple so I'm, we are going to say avengers and uh, uh, end game which is directed by russo uh, brothers perfect the year do not go out of it the year is 2019 if I'm not mistaken then we have uh, Star Wars well I could use this syntax just because this is a little bit faster so the name of the movie is going to be Star Wars uh, the force awakens the the force awakens is it correct i think so and the director is j j abrams okay and the year is uh 2015 let's bring that down i'm gonna add two more so this is gonna be 
Um, the Avengers, the Avengers. This is directed by Joss v Whedon. Joss, Joss uh, Whedon. It was 2012. And eventually, I'm just going to add uh, 2013, if I'm not mistaken. It is directed by Chris Buck. Uh, Frozen. Frozen. So there we go. So we have a list of uh, tuples. We have the movie name, the director, and the year. Keep in mind that the year, because we have specified the uh, integer, it has to be integer. Now, how can we add this to our data databases table? So we have another command that we can use, and that is cursor dot. Now, execute is just going to execute one, but execute many is going to execute many. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to say insert, insert into, insert into, let's specify the table, which is movies, specify the values. Now here I'm going to, I'm going to sh uh, share with you a very cool thing that you can, that you should know whenever you're working with these sort of applications. So these are placeholders, these question marks. These are placeholders. And where are the values coming from? The values are coming from this list. Now, uh, let's run this. So I'm going to say records. We're going to create a, a variable records. And we're going to say cursor dot execute. So we are going to say execute. And let's uh, pass in the select all columns from the movies. So, oops, this is going to commit, uh, this is going to add into our table, and this is going to retrieve them back from the table because we want to add, add them and retrieve them back so we know that we have added them correctly. And we are going to say print dot cursor, uh, cursor dot fetch all, fetch all of them. Let's save all these. There we go. Let's run this file again. And there we go. So you got Avatar, James Cameron, uh, Avengers, Star Wars. You got Avengers again, Frozen. Perfect. So you were able to do that. Now we can iterate over these as well. And for that, we need to comment out this print statement. The reason that you need to comment out this one is, I think we have already talked about this before, but I'm going to give you a reminder, is that this fetch all is going to iterate over this, this loop that we get this not loop this iterable that we get out of this record so this record is actually an iterable uh, and when you iterate over it uh, using fetch all you get all the results that is cool but when you iterate over it again you're basically at the end of the loop what is at the end of the loop there is nothing so when you iterate over it you're going to get nothing so you need to comment out one loop so the other loop can work we're going to say for record in records print record perfect let's save oops save that let's run this file and there we go now there this is some this is what i was talking about you can see that we have duplicate records this is not a good thing why do we have duplicate records we have two avengers endgame two star wars two avengers and two frozen because we did not comment out this part right so you need to comment out that part and then you're going to basically end up with not two duplicate records. All right. So you need to keep that in mind as well. Now, what if you say that you want to filter records? So I'm, I'm going to comment this one out. I'm going to comment uh, basically these ones out as well. I could keep the uh, select. It is just selecting. So I'm going to comment out these ones. Oops. Comment them out. There we go. So it's not going to create duplicate records anymore. So what if you say you want to filter records? What I, what I mean is you want to use the, um, the where clause that we talked about. So we are going to say release year. You, you might want to filter them by year. And you say, give me all the movies that have been released in 2015 or like above, like in 2015 or like above like 2016, 17, 18, 19. So we are going to say 2015, and this is how you can create a tuple with one. Uh, we have talked about this. So I'm not going to go over it. So we're going to say cursor dot execute. 
we are going to say select. Let's just, uh, I'm going to keep that there. It's, there is no harm in it. We're going to say uh, select all columns from uh, movies where, so you can see it's a, basically a SQL command, where year is greater than or equal to 2015. Let's remove this as well. Now, I'm not going to pass it in as a string, this 2015. I'm going to pass it in as a tuple. The reason for that is that very cool thing that I, sh that I told you earlier, and that is um, when, you pass when you use it as a string, uh, your database is going to be vulnerable to something called a SQL injection attack or an SQL injection attack. These attacks are used in whenever they're trying to hack your system and extract data. I'm not going to dive into it further because that is like 1,000 times beyond the scope of this course, this entire course. I may eventually provide a course on that, but that may be like way in the future because that is very advanced and I need to cover the basics first. So that's it. So we are passing that release your tuple in here and then we say print cursor uh, cursor dot uh, fetch all. Oh. Save this and let's clear the terminal. Let's run this again. We do have pint is not, it is print. So let's clear this again. Let's run it. And there we go. So we got uh, Avengers Endgame. Okay, so let me comment out this select statement. It says uh, release here. We basically want to get that. So, uh, 2019 we have so we have received our files so you can see we only have movies that have come 2015 or above or or more so 2019 2015 2019 and 2015 again so we have 2019 2015 then we have 2013 where is 2013 where is uh avengers endgame oh that that is less than 2015 so the reason that you have duplicates is we created duplicates. So if I run this again, you can see we have this is 2019 and this Star Wars is 2019. And these two records, they're basically duplicates. So with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.